Hello there. Welcome to That Man Japanese Utah podcast. It's twenty past midnight here. For some reason, I feel like this podcast is something you can listen to late at night. I'm kind of whispering right now, and I'm quite comfortable with it. I don't like shouting in a loud bar or clubs. I mean. I like going to clubs and dance, but I don't like talking in clubs. If I want to talk to people, I prefer more quiet environment, like some nice cafe or maybe outside or quiet a quiet bar. And speaking of quiet, have you guys read a book called Quiet by Susan Cain? The subtitle is. The power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking. This is a very famous book, so I'm sure many of you guys have read it. I didn't buy this book, even though I was quite curious about it. But somebody gave it to me, so I read it and I really liked it. It's a fantastic book. As the subtitle says, this book is about introverts and how. Introverted people, because sometimes they are seen as kind of inactive people who don't really contribute much to the society. But she says actually a lot of talented people are introverts, including some of the famous leaders. And there are many many positive traits of introverted people. So my question is. Are you an introvert? Are you? Are you an introvert? Let's see, because、uh, the book has sixteen questions to find out if you are an introvert or not. So let's do this together. Sounds good. Okay, so there are sixteen questions. The first question is: I prefer one-on-one -on -one conversation to group activities. Yes or no? Um, yeah, my answer is yes. I often prefer going out with just one person, and sit in a cafe, and talk for like maybe a couple of hours. Sometimes I spend just five hours just talking. Well, I like parties, but the thing is, when I go to a party, I find somebody I can really connect to. And just talk to the person. And if I can't find somebody I really like or I'm really interested in, I just don't talk to anybody. Right. Question number two. I often prefer to express myself in writing. Well, I do prefer expressing myself in writing often. Not always, but often. Which is kind of contradictory because I'm talking right now on this podcast, but I have a blog. I write books, so yeah, I like writing. How about you guys? Do you prefer talking or writing? Okay, number three. I enjoy solitude. I definitely enjoy solitude because okay, today it's Sunday. And I spent this weekend mostly alone by myself writing, and I'm really happy about it. And I feel quite content. And I definitely feel that I had a very meaningful weekend. To be fair, I like talking to people and meeting people sometimes, but not all the time. Okay, question number four. I seem to care less than my peers about wealth, fame, and status. I, I'd love to be rich, but when it comes to fame and status, I don't really care. And it's not like I want to be a billionaire. I want to be a billionaire so fucking bad. No, that's not what I was talking about. I just want to have enough money so that I can concentrate on what I like to do, which is writing, 
meeting more people, or creating stuff. So, question number five. I dislike small talk, but I enjoy talking in depth about topics that matters to me. My answer is definitely yes. I used to think like small talks are useless, but lately I appreciate, you know, that small talk is not always about a content. It's more like connecting with people, sharing your emotions. So now that I understand the role of small talking, so I don't mind. But I definitely prefer intimate, in depth conversation or like very. Intellectually charged conversation. Number six, people tell me that I'm a good listener. Well, yeah, I I like listening to people, and I tend to consider myself a decent listener. Well, I I interview people a lot, so when I interview people, obviously I listen to people, and I kind of try to not to talk about myself too much. So. Yeah, I can definitely listen to people, especially when I try. Question number seven: I'm not a big risk taker. Well, am I a big risk taker? Are you a risk taker? I would say I, not really. I don't take risks. Well, sometimes you just have to take risks. So, when it's really necessary and when it's important, I do take a risk. But I don't just. Randomly take risks. Number eight, I enjoy work that allows me to dive in with few interruptions. You know, I hate I hate interruptions. Sometimes at work, because I do a lot of manage management kind of stuff, so a lot of people just talk to me like Yuta, what should I do, or like you know. Can I talk about this stuff and that stuff? And that's really stressful to me. I think I'm generally happier if I have one single task that I can concentrate on without few interruptions. Oh, I have an iPhone, but I don't like it when iPhone shows you this kind of lock screen notification. What about somebody sends you a message or something like that? So I turn off the notification and. My case is actually quite extreme. I always set the phone to、uh, the the silent mode, silent mode, so my phone doesn't ring. You can call me, but my phone doesn't ring, so most likely I won't pick up the phone. Okay, number nine. I like to celebrate birthdays on a small scale with only one or two close friends or family members. Okay. To this question, I would say no. I like I like big birthday parties, which I usually do, and I like having people I know well, as well as people I don't know, so that I can meet new people. So, by the way, in your culture, how do you throw a birthday party? Because there's a difference. I think in Japan. In most cases, your your friends、uh, throw a birthday party for you. But、uh, when I went to France, I realized that the people you you throw your birthday party yourself, and actually that kind of makes sense to me. Now I throw my own birthday party, and you know what? I'm happy because <laughs> before. Nobody would throw a birthday party for me, but now that I know that I can just just throw a birthday party on my own, so I can choose whether to have a birthday party or not. Number ten, people describe me as soft-spoken or mellow. I'm not necessarily a soft-spoken person, but yeah, sometimes I. Speak softly, but sometimes I can be loud. So, yes and no. Now I'm speaking quite softly because it's late at night. Because I know you're listening to me. Are you? Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're doing something else. Or anyway, 
Question number 11. I prefer not to show or discuss my work with others until it's finished. My answer is yes. But actually, I'm trying to talk about the, the stuff I'm doing you know, more often. I think I can have better relationships with people that way. Because sometimes you, you do something very interesting but nobody knows. And that's too bad. So, yeah, I'll be sharing my, the things I, I do probably on this podcast and elsewhere. So, question number 12. I dislike conflict. Well, I have to say I tend to avoid conflicts, especially when it seems quite unnecessary. Well, I used to kind of, I, I didn't mind confrontation sometimes, especially when it comes to kind of like discussing something or debating that kind of stuff. But, you know, arguing, debating, that, that, that can... That makes me tired, and I definitely prefer not uh, avoiding conflict. And I think partly it's because I'm Japanese, but I I also think it's part of my personality. And you know what I do? I try to avoid arguments, especially when it's something, you know, that's not critically important namely on Facebook because it's always tempting to just you know randomly argue with people when whenever they say something uh, I don't agree with and sometimes people comment on my Facebook like showing disagreement and I know I shouldn't respond to that because it's a small thing and it's not gonna be meaningful and I spent maybe half an hour or like an hour just try to make my point while I should be doing something else. So I generally try to avoid conflicts and arguments. Anyway, number 13. I do my best work on my own. And my answer is definitely yes. But it's sometimes difficult because people around you want to be involved. And yeah, that can be tricky sometimes. Like, you know, you kind of want to include people, but you also care that, you know, you, you are you are doing your best job. So I'm still learning. Right. Number 14. I tend to think before I speak, and my answer is 100% yes. Even now, I'm I'm recording this podcast, and there's a lot of silence in the the original recording, but I just, you know, edit them out. But I definitely think before I speak. I think this is very characteristic of, of, like, introverted people, because a lot of extroverted people they think and talk at the same time sometimes i find it difficult to communicate with them because when i say something it's most likely i actually mean something i think it like you know i thought it about it before so that's like my definite answer but extroverted people are more like you know uh, what they say is more like their process of thinking. So it's like uh, their stream of consciousness. So if I take what they say as their definite answers, that will be a problem. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that you think and talk at the same time. I'm I'm just saying it's better to know, you know, uh, that person's communication style so as to avoid misunderstanding. All right, number 15. I feel drained after being out and about even if I've enjoyed myself. You know, this is me. I enjoy hanging out with people 
and talk to people and go on a date, you know, once in a while. But being around people is basically stress to me. This is something, you know, not easy to explain to extroverted people because I, I, I sincerely do enjoy their company, but at the same time, I, I need my time alone. But some people feel like they, they, they are rejected or something. It's a very tricky topic. All right, the last question. Are you still with me? Okay, so the last question, number 16. I often let calls go through the voicemail. And you already know my answer. My phone doesn't even ring. So yeah, I, I never answer my calls. And sometimes messengers too. I get this notification that somebody has sent me a message, but I can kind of like try to not to read a message until I feel I'm ready. So how many yeses do you guys have? I think I said yes to 14 or 15 questions out of 16. So yeah, I am extremely introverted. But you know what? I think that might be the reason why I enjoy doing this podcast and probably more than uh, filming YouTube videos because I think podcasting is very, very introverted. I know, you know, a lot of extroverted podcasters, so I can't just generalize. I don't know. What do you guys think? Just um, please let me know. It's it's curious. Because like, uh, okay, going back to the book Quiet by Susan Cain, and she's American. So she talks a lot about American society. And I think American society is generally very extroverted. People tend to think that extroverted people are better at a lot of things so even if you are introverted you kind of try to you kind of have to try to act like an extroverted person but i grew up in japan and i think japan is very very different it's much much more introverted than the states so if you are an introverted person in Japan, people don't care that much, you know, about you, your being introverted. And actually, a lot of people think that being silent, like being quiet, is often better than like, you know, being boisterous or loud. And yeah, it's, it can be something positive. It, like being quiet can be interpreted as being thoughtful and if you are uh, the kind of person who doesn't talk too much but you know if you have something important to say then you talk I think people really appreciate you Japan is also a very high contact society and not only do people listen to you but they also watch your behavior and how you act so I think a lot of people think that you know uh, your action is much more important than what you say so if you are an introverted person maybe Japan is the country for you again I'm quite curious about your culture so make sure that you let me know and I really like getting feedback and you can give me feedback if you if you are listening to this on YouTube, obviously, of course, you can just comment on this section. And if you are listening to this elsewhere, uh, you can go to my podcast blog, which is uh, utaaoki.com slash podcast. It's y-u-t-a-a-o-k-i dot com slash podcast. Or if you feel like using the good, good old email you can uh, email me at feedback at utaaoki.com it's feedback at y-u-t-a-a-o-k-i.com all right so i guess see you guys soon ciao ciao mm-hmm.